Hi there, welcome to our channel where we talk about traffic operations in practice. Since this is our very first video, we would like to talk more about the intent of our work and what to expect from other videos on this channel. The overall intent of this video series is to reduce the learning curve for students and entry level engineers by providing them free and high quality learning materials in the field of traffic operations including highway safety and travel demand modeling. The majority of content in this work is written by Professor Jiangling Wu. My name is Amit Kumar Singh. I'm one of the contributors of this work. I'm a licensed engineer in the state of Texas. I received my bachelor's from IIT Bombay in India and my master's from UT Austin in US. Other three contributors of this work are Priyansu Singh who works in the field of artificial intelligence, Nidhi Kumari who has a background in computer science and is a programmer and Namrata Kumari. She has a background in electrical engineering and currently she is working as data scientist. As I mentioned this video and channel is dedicated to students and entry level engineers so since this is our first video before jumping into the technical stuff let's look at some of the challenges faced by entry level engineers and just talk in general about what is traffic operations and what do a young engineer do in the field of traffic operations so to get started, as we all know, roadway system or uh, transportation systems are used to move from one location to another and an efficient and reliable transportation system economy. Now in recent past decades, the number of vehicles on the roadway has increased significantly, which has led to major traffic and safety issues. So traffic analysis is done so that the vehicles on the roadway can move efficiently and safely. Now traffic operations is just a small part of a bigger picture. So traffic transportation system is made of many, many big segments, divisions. Uh, some of the big ones are roadway design, traffic design, traffic management, highway safety, multimodal divisions, intelligent transportation system, Tismo and many more like construction which is a big part of our transportation work we do. So traffic operations like I mentioned is a small part of a bigger picture uh, but within the traffic operation itself there are multiple fields which is like regular traffic analysis, control devices, uh, highway safety, tra travel demand modeling and uh, usually in at the beginning of our career, we deal with all of these fields in traffic operations. But as we become senior engineers, we usually specialize in one of the fields. So many factors influence a traffic analysis, such as the set of assumptions we are making, the standards we are using, uh, the expectations and goals of the project and political environment and our clients. There are hundreds of manuals, guidelines and research paper available to an entry level engineer or any engineer in general which can guide them through the process. However, we have to deliver within the constraint of time and budget which is usually very limited. So we need to have a good understanding of which approach to use and what is expected out of that project from us. So having an in-depth understanding is a kind of important for engineers and this kind of understandings comes with years of experience usually five to ten years of working on several projects so the intent of this channel is to reduce that time frame and instead of learning through years of project they can learn uh, some of the concepts through this channel and then apply on projects and learn more while they are working on projects. So this will al also give them a background and a little bit of confidence to go and tackle some of the challenges in the, f in the field. For example, when we are working on some new concepts, for example, let's say uh, uh, a signal design or let's say we are doing the 
any kind of work for the first time like highway capacity manual and highway capacity analysis for the first time then if we haven't done these things uh, previously in our life it, it's kind of scary to directly jump into a new field uh, especially as a young engineer so having that some of the basic understanding will give the confidence to young engineers and students to take on projects and uh, the, the, some understanding on what to expect going in the projects so the so day-to-day -day life of uh, a traffic operation engineer or traffic engineer in general there are several challenges they face and this channel is going to kind of help young engineers overcome those challenges and then provide them guidance and knowledge um, to perform the traffic analysis task so one of the big challenge we face is the number of manuals that are uh, that we have to follow there are a lot of manuals for traffic engineers to read through and follow and there are many local state and federal guidelines we need to read uh, and they can combine together be the tens and tens of thousands of pages of engineering uh, guidelines so they are not easy to just read and digest there are tens and thousands of pages and one page has some very important information I remember during our PE exam, uh, it's an open book exam and there were so many people who bought suitcases and big two or three big ba bags of books to the exam. So people carrying big suitcases of books to the exam. Uh, so and uh, especially for entry level, uh, if we don't know which part of the guideline to follow, we might end up spending like years years just reading through guidelines and understanding them however not all part of the guidance is used every time so we so some of the guidance is required by the law and we must follow them but in traffic operations the guidelines are just to provide some guidance to the engineer so we need to know what are the core guidance that are frequently used in practice uh, there are a lot of theoretical approaches to perform certain calculation and based on which approach we are choosing we might end up with uh, the same or different results so we need to have an understanding of which approach is frequently used in practice and uh, what are like the standards approaches we are using so we don't end up with uh, different results third one is the no knowledge of software um, most of the traffic analysis work is done through softwares so soft, software provides a framework where we can uh, where we can adjust many many parameters to achieve certain results so so understanding what are all the options available what they do which options we frequently change in practice which options we keep constant what are the guidance to adjust those options how to handle those softwares is very important for entry level engineer the fourth challenge uh, young engineers or most of the engineers in traffic operations we face is the updating knowledge. So traffic operations guidelines updates uh, frequently than roadway or MUTCD guidelines uh, for roadway is a roadway design manual which kind of updates uh, more frequently than uh, structural engineering guidelines for example. So competitively in the field of traffic operations within transportation engineering the guidelines updates very frequently when i started my career in 2015 i was using highway capacity manual 2000 uh, which has three volumes to it and uh, then i was using highway capacity manual 2010 which which is again have uh, three volumes one on online volume and this can be like thousands of pages and few years later i was using highway capacity manual 6 and now i'm using highway capacity manual 7 so it can be a very daunting task for young engineers to read through thousands of pages every two three years and understand all these guidelines now even though the core concepts remain the same most most of the models are like statistical models so they are based on the latest data if the background latest data changes then the model itself changes leading to a new guideline so yeah even though the guideline changes and the core concept remains the same we still need to read through the new guidelines and understand all the new things which becomes very difficult um, especially um, it's difficult for young engineers it's also difficult for senior engineers 
now another challenge we have or another aspect of traffic engineering life is the assumptions and standards depending on every project involves a large list of assumptions we we deal with not everything is given to us and then we have to assume certain things now based on the assumptions and standards we are using we might end up with very different results now this assumptions depends on several factors such as local site conditions transportation agencies preferences engineering judgment which is a big one um, local community vision and political environment so having a good understanding of traffic analysis in school or universities and then uh, having the core concept from the guidelines and applying them in the traffic analysis field are two very different things when we understand all these things then we kind of have an understanding of what to do but based on the based on the client based on the assumptions we are making we 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 need to adjust our analysis to meet uh, like the local expectations or the guidelines engineers needs to have a full understanding of assumptions that are frequently made in practice now these are challenges so through this channel what we will try to do is we'll provide the core concepts that are used in traffic operations the way we define core concept is the core concept are concepts which are like 20% of total knowledge let's say and which are used in used to perform 80% of tasks so in our traffic operations life is usually like 5 to 20% of our all the knowledge we have is applied frequently and we will focus on only the core knowledge which are used for most of the projects um, another thing that will be discussed is uh, automation so a lot of repetitive work has now been slowly kind of made more efficient through use of coding and uh, automation is helpful if we have a complete understanding of the background project so if we know how to do certain things and we are doing it over several years only then we can use the automation to achieve certain things so we need to have that uh, some experience before we jump into automation but automation is very very helpful and uh, can can help us reduce our repetitive work and also can help us implement some complex or better ideas that has that is not traditionally used well that's all i have for this video thank you for your time thank you for joining us and if you like it uh, please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends i will see you in our next video on introduction to traffic operations thank you